welcome to You Bet Your Ass. Please welcome your host, Stuart Francis. Hello, I am Stuart Francis, and welcome to You Bet Your Ass, or as Paris Hilton calls it, Jeopardy. I'd now like to introduce my co-host. She's a very shy, unassuming gal who doesn't like much of a fuss being made about her. Please welcome Sitara! Hello, Hello Sitara. You look gorgeous. Oh, well, thank you. And you look pretty good yourself. I know. And actually, so do the contestants. In fact, why don't we meet them? Actually, Sitara, let me meet them. I'm probably a little better at this than you are. We have, we have Steve, we have Kayla, and we have Dennis. Okay, which one's Kayla? Oh, uh, why don't we just get right into the game, huh, Stuart? Okay, let's do it. Let's get her going. I know what these contestants want. They want a piece of ass. Questions are each worth 100 points. Unless you feel really confident about the category, then you can double down for 200 points, but you will have to get both questions right. If you get it wrong, someone could buzz in and steal it from you. And speaking of stealing, keep your eyes out for the wild card, your chance to steal 500 points from one of your competitors. And I'm gonna bump you guys all 1,000 points to start just because I can. Stuart, take it away. We determined backstage who goes first by the person who could guess the number of Nick Lachey posters I have in my bedroom wall with none. Dennis, you're up first. Let's get you a category. Hit me! Lost in translation. What do you want to do here, Dennis? A single, or are you going to double down? Let's, let's start the show off good. Let's double down. A double down! Let's do Our it. first question's a double down. Let's do it. Ooh, ah, uh, here we go. In China, what 1997 Demi Moore movie was translated to Satan Female Soldier? Kayla, Steve? Steve. G.I. Jane? G.I. Jane is correct. <laughs> he gets the points. You gotta get the second question right to get all the points. Here it is. In Sweden, what 1993 Bill Murray comedy translated to Monday the whole week? Groundhog Day. That's right! <laughs> well enunciated, well done you. You get all the points there. Let's get Kayla category, hit me. What's your sign? What do you want to do, single or a double down? I'll, I'll, I'll double down. Doubling down. Doubling wow, down. you saw what happened with Dennis. Good luck to you. October, November, you're passionate but uh, obsessive, so you're probably a stalker. What's your sign? Scorpio. Scorpio's right. Well done, Kayla. <laughs> this is for all the points in the double down. Here we go. March, April, you're enthusiastic but impatient, so you're probably suck in bed. What's your sign? <laughs> Oh, it's Aries. Oh. No points for you. It's Steve's turn. I know, I know. Steve, let's get you a category. Hit me. <laughs> Family. What would you like to do, a single or a double down? The others have been doubling down. And I'll the take crowd the pressure loves them and I'll it. double down. You're doubling down, yes. <laughs> Good luck to Steve. What was the last name of Archie on All in the Family? And it's allegedly where they found Hitler's dead body. Bunker. Bunker's right. <laughs> You're not in the hole on this one. Here's the second question. What rotund actress who frequently seen with starving children played the role of Gloria Bunker? Jesus. Yes, oh. say it, say it. <laughs> Sally Sally's Struthers Struthers is what he was trying to say, but he didn't, so no points for Steve. Let's get Dennis a category. Hit me. <laughs> Earl. Earl, single or a double down? I was gonna take a single here. A single on Earl. Boo! <laughs> we hey, hate dude. Dennis. He's trying to give me some points. Here we go. What bodacious actress plays Joy on My Name is Earl? I have no idea. Kayla, Steve? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Steve was trying to buzz, so let's give it to him. Uh, Jaime Presley? Jaime? <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, Jamie Presley, Jamie Presley. Famous Jewish actor, Jaime Presley. No, judges? Is that a no? Okay, it's still a no. No, sorry. It's Jamie Presley. I'm sorry. Kayla, let's get you a category. Hit me. Too many nipples. Double. Double. Um, uh, I'll, 
go single? You're gonna go single, well. just one nipple. Here we just go. Just one. What Please. underwear model turned rapper, turned actor, turned producer has a funky third nipple? <laughs> Dennis, Steve? Steve's trying to buzz, what is it? Jaime? Marky Mark. Marky Mark. Ah. Mark Wahlberg, we'll take it. That's the end of the round, no more bets. Well, that was a pretty heated round, Stuart. Not a lot of points accumulated, though. In fact, most people lost points. Dennis was 700, Kayla with 700, and Steve with 1,000. But stay tuned, because after the break, it is going to get so dirty in here. Are you curious about how? We'll come right back. Welcome back to you bet your ass. Aren't commercials great, Satara? Yeah, they are. And right now, it's like the time that you stayed home and rented 12 porno movies. Yeah, it's time to play the Dirty Dozen. In this round, contestants will be randomly asked four different questions. When the light stops on you, it's your turn to answer, and you get 500 points for correct answers. You don't lose any points for wrong answers. Stuart, take it away. Turn off the lights, let's do this. True or false, Ricky Gervais co-created the show The Office. <laughs> Kayla. Oh, true? True, correct. The movie Office Space starred which actor with the last name Livingston? Steve. Ron Livingston. Correct. Dr. Dr. Livingston, I presume, was spoken by Henry Stanley in 1871 on uh, what continent? Dennis. Africa. Africa's right. Africa was a hit for what doggy sounding 80s band? Steve. Jaime Presley. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. Toto. Toto was the dog of what famous movie girl? Dennis. <laughs> That's my shocked look, by the way. Boo! Dorothy! In 1998, movie Dor uh, Surrender Dorothy dealt with what yummy drug addiction? <laughs> Kayla. Um, I don't know. Heroin. Now you do. <laughs> Heroin is the number one crop of what Asian nation which has had more international interventions than Madonna? <laughs> Kayla again. Korea? No. Afghanistan. True or false, the capital of Afghanistan is Kandahar. True. Steve, true. Let the quiz master ask. True. Can, excuse me. Can Ham is better known for what song about product name? Song about product name. It's over to Dennis. No idea. No? No. Spam. Spam. <laughs> is most likely to fill up your TV, computer, or eaves troughs. Computer. Steve, Steve let me, Sorry. please. <laughs> I know you're excited. You I'm got excited. one right. I'm excited. Computer's right. <laughs> what computer company makes the PowerBook? Dennis. IBM? No, Apple. Boo. <laughs> Finish this quote. An apple a day keeps the blank away. Kayla. Nabla Day keeps the doctor Correct, away. Amundo. Over to you, Satara. Wow, well, a lot happened in that rapid fire round. Now Steve is jumped ahead with 2,500 points. Kayla with 1,700. Dennis lagging behind a little with 1,200. But anything could happen right now because we're going to raise the stakes. We're going to up the ante. Get ready for it. It's up your ass. <laughs> the piece of ass round, but the point values have doubled. That's right, each question is now worth 200 points. You can double down for 400, but you will have to get both questions right. I'm gonna bump you each a thousand more points to continue because you're doing so well. Stuart, it's over to you. Okay, Dennis, you're up first because you're, uh, what's that term, uh, losing. So let's get you a category. Hit me. <laughs> Weather songs. Do you want a single or do you want to double down? I'm gonna have to go single. I'm gonna have to You have to, to go single. single. You wanna keep to. that low score. That's Good what idea. I'm gonna keep doing. What song could have been named Violet Precipitation? Violet Precipitation. Yeah! 
Kayla. Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Did the singing help? <laughs> nah, no, not well. really. Let's get you a category. Hit me. Where did I get stoned? She's giggling already in anticipation. Double down, I can only assume? Oh, yeah, I'll double down. No peer pressure there. Here we go. Where did I get stoned? I smoked pot on Lime K Beach, went to the Bob Marley Museum, and cured my munchies with some jerk chicken. Where did I get stoned? Jamaica. More specifically? More specifically? Yes, Jamaica. that's what I said. Bob Marley's Judges? house in Jamaica? We'll take it. Yeah. That's the first. So you get the points on that. You lose the points if you don't get the right. second one right because it's double, double down. I landed in the Paris of South America, snorted coke with Maradona, and passed out in the Plaza de Mayo. Where did I get stoned? In Mexico? No, I didn't. Oh. Where so, did Buenos you get Aires, stoned? Rio de, uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina. So no points. You lose the points. We get Steve a category. The crowd's bummed out. Hit me. <laughs> Celebrity baby names. Oh. I'm Dublin. going single. Going single. Yeah. What does he know about kids? <laughs> what Protestant. achy breaky country bumpkin faded his child with the name Destiny Hope? Uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. Correct. Yeah. Well mm. done. Steve, the second one was even easier, but you chose not to take it. Uh, Dennis, let's get you a category. Can Hit I me. Go back? No, you can't. <laughs> Good movies. Let's, what do you want to. Uh, single? Let's, let's double down. Doubling down. Let's He's doubling down. Going. I heard him. I Here we go. It. Good movies. Robin Come Williams on. screamed more than I did watching him in Jumanji in what 1987 war comedy? Not yet, Kayla. Not yet. He hasn't got it wrong yet. <laughs> Kayla. Good morning, Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam's correct. Well done, you. You get the points. You get the points only if you get the second question right here. Here's the second question. Oh. I know. I know. Regrets. George Clooney wrote, directed, produced it, and acted, and allegedly sewed the costumes for what 2005 film about Edward R. Murrow? Syriana? No. It was the other one. Yeah, the other one. But you can't <laughs> take that. Yeah, I don't know. Bad answer. It was good night and good luck, and a bad answer. Okay, it's uh, Steve's category. No, Kayla's category. Let's get you one right now. Hit me. <laughs> Recipes. Single or doubling down? I'll, I'll double down. And doubling down. <laughs> She's cooking with recipes. Here we go. What am I making? Boil pasta, add milk, butter, cheese, cheese powder, tears, and poverty. Craft dinner? Yes, well done, you. Here's your second question for the point. Brown beef, add seasoned tomato sauce, spread on a hamburger bun, wait for colon cancer. Sloppy Joe? Sloppy Joe's right, oh, well nice. done, Kayla. She is rocking. Woo. She's pissed off. Let's get you a category. Hit me. Know your sitcom. Double down. Doubling down. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Topher Grace nailed one-liners and a sassy redhead and what dated Fox comedy? That 70s show. That good answer. Well done. Second question for the points. You got 3,700 points. In what NBC comedy did David Spade star alongside a bunch of hot models? Veronica's Closet? No, and you can't steal on this. It was just shoot me. I'm oh, sorry, right. Steve. You don't get the points for the previous question either. Dennis, let's get you a category. Hit me. <laughs> Hip-hop, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's spinning. Well, double down. Is that the term? Ooh. Yeah. He's doubling down. Double down. Here I got to go. get some points here. Good luck. Come on. What rapper's bad choices included uh, starring in Exit Wounds and trying to steal a car from Kennedy Airport in 2004? I can't get away. <laughs> ah. That's the end of the round. No more bets. Steve is still holding on to that leading spot with 3,300. Kayla's got 2,500 and Dennis with 1,200. But hold on, audience, because it is anybody's game. You'll find out what happens in our crazy final round up next. Welcome back to you, bet your ass in that last round. I really screwed up. Satara, clean it up for me. All right, no problem, Stuart. Well, Steve, we have to take 500 points away from you because it wasn't Kandahar, it was actually Kabul. So you're down to 2,800, which makes it a very close game. As we move into our intense final round, it's time to play ass on the line. In this round, contestants will be given a category of their choice with three questions in each. They can bet whatever they want on each question as long as they have enough points to continue. And once they run out of points, they run out of being a contestant here on You Bet Your Ass, and that's not good. So let's find out who our winner is. Stuart, 
Dennis is still losing, <coughs> um, so you're gonna get a, a category to choose from four categories. Let's have a look at those four categories now. Flintstones, Naomi Campbell, One Hot Player, The Man of Steel. Dennis, I turn to you, I ask you, which of those four categories are gonna choose from? I'm gonna go with Flintstones. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. Got it. So, you have 1,200 points. Our leader, Steve, has 2,800, formerly 3,500. Or something like that. But anyway, what would you like to wager on this? Your first question. Uh, I'm gonna go 600. 600 points. Good luck, my friend. Here we go. What's the porno-sounding name of Barney and Betty's kid? Bam Bam. Bam Bam's correct. <laughs> Change his score. It's now 1800. What do you want to wager on this? Your second question. 1000. 1000. Can he do that? Yes, he's doing it. Here we go. What cartoon deity voiced Barney Rubble, Foghorn Leghorn, and Mr. Spacely from The Jetsons? No. Take no it blank. Away. Take it away. That's okay. No, you're down to 800. All in. Go crazy. I'll go all in. All in. Let's do it. Take Let's all in. Let's do it. I can't get behind it. You can't. You're so You gotta far. do it. Here we go. Who were the freaky monster neighbors who moved next door to Fred and Wilma? Barney and... Gruesome. <laughs> The gruesome. Oh. Oh, I believe the word is clunk. Okay, Kayla, you're up next. What category would you like to choose from? Naomi Campbell. You got 2,500 points. Steve has 2,800 points. What are you going to wager on this? Is your first question. Um, 400. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you go, girl. Woo! Some might call her Queen Bitch, but in the modeling world, Naomi Campbell is known as the Queen of. Africa? <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. No, uh, the catwalk would have been, or uh, that okay. might be another nickname, but we're going with the catwalk <laughs> for this one. Okay. Good luck on your second question. This should be hilarious. What would you like to wager? You got 2,100 points. Uh, no way. No. I'll go, I'll go with the 1,100. Okay, here we go. Speaking of Kathy, what type of instrument did Naomi hit her uh, assistant in 2000? Um, a makeup brush. No. And you actually did the, the gesture <laughs> of a phone, like a cell phone. Oh, that was weird. Oh, cell phone or telephone. Sorry. Wow. Do you want to get a different category? <laughs> sure, yeah. can I? No. no. Thousand points, you're going to double down, you're going to go crazy. Oh, all in. All in. <laughs> and you'll get this one. What British singing waif who married a soccer star did Naomi call a massive cow in 2000? The correct answer is? Victoria Beckham Posh. That's right. Place. Well done. <laughs> 2,000 points. Welcome back. Steve, 2,800 points. What category? The Man of Steel. The Man of Steel. What do you want to wager? This I will wager 100. Boring. Here we go, 100 points. What movie Superman proved that playing a superhero was much easier than riding a horse? This that's is a terrible. terrible. Christopher Reeve. That's right, Christopher Reeve. Oh, that's oh, terrible. Oh, wow. Enjoy the show, thank you. <laughs> Second question, you got 2,900 points. 200. Risk taker, risk taker, make me. What TV series features a teenage Clark Kent doing everything in his power not to have sex with hot chicks? Smallville. Up your alley, yes, well done. 3,100 points. This last question to determine you as the champion for today. All in. All in. 500. <laughs> 500. You can do it. Superman appears with what comedian in commercials for American Express? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld is right! What's the deal with Steve being our champion? Satara? Well, Steve has won $500, but it's not over yet. Because up next, he'll have a chance to win $2,000 more. We'll all be right back. No, after no, no. This. Actually, we shouldn't all come back because the two losers sitting beside the champion, that's kind of like negative television, so we should get rid of them. Uh, Oh, okay, good idea, so. Stuart. So. Uh, we'll get rid of them. We'll comp you guys some buffet tickets or something. And some of us will be right back after this. Welcome back to You Bet Your Ass. What a great game. Steve is our champion. You've won $500 up for more money. Satara's going to come out right now and explain the rest of the game to you. Satara? Oh, yeah. Well, Steve, you've won yourself $500, but now you've got some big decisions to make. That's right. 
One more question for 1000 Why not double down? Two questions for $2,000. All he has to do is get it right. What's it going to be? Do it. Double down. Double uh, down. Uh, double down, Steve. I'll double down. He's doubling yeah. down. How exciting. Steve, this is very important. That's why I'm using my serious voice. You're doubling down. You have to get both questions right. Here we go. Let's get you a category. Hit me. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Okay. Rather than waste it on the homeless, what food item should you save to throw at the screen when Ralph and Betty get married? Popcorn? No. Oh. Rice. Rice. Oh, Damn my. It. I was so hoping he was going to get it right. I'm sorry. You did win $500. You're our champion. Am I addicted to painkillers? You bet your ass. Good night, everyone.